Why, hello there, troglodytes and gnolls alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy. And in this episode of Fantastic Anatomy, we're going to be drawing the neck. So I've created three skulls here in a typical Fantastic Anatomy style, but omitting some details and adding the back of the skull here. And it does this little dippy thing. I think these are called the mastoids because we got a sternocleidomastoid thing going on. We're going to talk about it in a minute. So yeah, let's start drawing the neck. So what I like to do, and this is so this is the fantastic anatomy method because what I like to do is the fantastic anatomy method. <laughs> is um, first off, get the thing to work there. So find a point below the chin, maybe about half a head high or so, and uh, and you and you make a point, and that's gonna be the like pit of the neck. And then we're going to have the clavicle. Wait. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh, oh, I should have looked this up before. It's been a while since I've studied anatomy, actually. And I thought this would be a fun way to start. I keep telling myself I'm going to start drawing more. Anyways, so there's three ways that the clavicle can go. Kind of straightish like this. And then it could be curved up more, and it could be curved down more. And supposedly, I think curved up is more... It makes it more masculine looking and down is more feminine I think these three are, this one might be more feminine like an alien woman I'm intrigued to get there so from this mastoid thing we're gonna have it's gonna come all the way down to the edge of the pit of the neck and uh, oh this is the sternum right here so it's a sterno sterno uh, clido I think this is the clido right here and then mastoid and then it also has this little arm that branches off kinda like that now you're halfway there from this point you just gotta find somewhere around here in the you know this is where the back of the trapezius is gonna be and it's gonna come down and connect just about right outside where the clavicle is and then you you would have the shoulders, and this is about a head, head's width to the edge of the shoulder, shoulders, so maybe a little less, a little more or less around halfway, probably a little more than less, would be where uh, the clavicle should come out to. Alright, cool, and then that's pretty much it, and you can put a little Adam's apple in here, if he's a guy, look something like that, so you can just do like two lines, maybe two dots. So let's just fill this out a little bit so we can see how it would look. And the lines I would emphasize are this line here, and then maybe these ones in here, and something like that. I don't know. You can experiment with which ones you like to emphasize. Alright, so let's do this guy. So we'll go through the same process. So we'll choose a point about a head down here. We're going to connect these, but let's make this guy really buff. Do some crazy orc. And so what that's gonna do, alright, let's see how I'll explain this. So first off, the trapezius is gonna have more of a bump right here. Because it's all built up. Oops. And let's have is okay, so I should go in order. So first I should have done the clavicle. And I'm gonna have it tilted up, see? So let's pretend that I did that first. And then at this point also I like to visualize it a little bit. So what I'm doing, what I'm thinking now, if my thing will work, is that he's got a big, you know, big trapezius thing going on here. And then it's going to come all the way up there. I don't need to worry about that right now. And then this muscle is going to kind of, like, see there's almost like a bump here. So it's going to not so exaggeratedly but it comes it'll come down like this and then it'll kind of like maybe wrap around like that doesn't it give the feeling that it's more laying on top of a a mound of muscle and then maybe since he's very masculine should have a pronounced Adam's apple and alright we'll go into the shoulders and the chest in the next episode but that's that would be like a buff guard 
And maybe you want to give them a vein. Like a match. Because he's really serious about working out. Alright, I'm getting carried away here. But I like this guy. He's got heart. He's ready for business. Alright, buddy. Let's see, meet your wife over here. Let's give her big beautiful eyes so we know she's a she's a female. Oh my gosh, this already looks like a character I drew like four years ago. Alright, that's your wife right there. So, we've got the mastoids down here. Let's make this one fantastical so we can put the pit of the next way down here. It kind of goes with this long head thing, so that's kind of cool. And then, alright, and then we're going to make her clavicles go down. Now this is going to be an exaggeratedly weird anatomy, but that's the point of fantastic anatomy is that we can push things as long as we know the mechanics. We should be able to stretch them, and it'll still be kind of like believable in a weird alien way. Okay, so we got those. Then from around here, we're going to have some some trapezius going on. And then, oh yeah, these have these two that go off. And that's it. It's beautiful. It's a match made in heaven. Alright, I hope this episode was helpful. And, uh... Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.